Chapter 25 Ow! My shoulder hit the solid mirror hard. Pain shot down my arm. I stumbled back. Jason, please. Mom pulled me away gently. Why are you so frightened of the mirror? Dad asked. There are... There are monsters living inside it. Still holding on to me, Mom turned to Dad. Maybe we should get rid of it. It's given nightmares ever since we bought it. Dad rubbed the stubby beard. But we have to show him that there aren't any monsters in there. Stop talking about me as if I'm not here, I screamed, clenching my fists. I'm standing right here, and I'm not crazy. I saw monsters in the mirror. They pulled me inside. It's dark in there, and cold. I think I saw Fred and Buzzy in there, too. Fred and Buzzy? Mom spread her hand over my forehead, testing to see if I had a fever. Dad's frown grew deeper. You saw Fred and Buzzy in the mirror? He turned to Mom again. Should we call Dr. Fleason? He's having a temperature, Mom said. I... I don't know what to say. Sometimes nightmares can seem very real, Dad told me. I opened my mouth to argue, but I could see there was no way they would believe me. I let out a weary, defeated sigh. <sighs> Forget it. Let's go back to bed. The next morning, I got dressed quickly with my back to the mirror. I tried not to look into it. But I couldn't help myself. I took a few quick glances. The reflection was totally normal. Morning sunlight from my bedroom window washed over the glass. No creatures pretended to be my ghosts. No figures calling to me to come save them. I shivered, thinking of the night before. It wasn't a nightmare, I whispered to myself. I grabbed the hand mirror off my dresser and shoved it into my pocket. Somehow having it made me feel safer, and I hurried downstairs to breakfast. Mom and Dad greeted me with searching stares. I guess they were studying me, trying to see if I was so crazy. Claudia sat at the kitchen table, dressed for school, shoving a banana into her mouth like a chimpanzee. She opened her mouth wide to show me the mushed up goo stuck to her braces. Thanks for sharing that, I muttered. I hear you totally freaked last night, Claudia said, grinning. Claudia, Mom cried sharply. We weren't going to talk about it, remember? Maybe the little boy needs a nightlight, Claudia said nastily. That's enough, Dad snapped. Finish your cereal. You're going to be late. Let's try to be a little nicer around here, Mom said, frowning at Claudia. How can you be nice to a nut? Claudia replied. She took down her orange juice and jumped off from the, from the table. Bye. She disappeared into the front hall. I want you to walk Jason to school, Dad called after her. I don't want to go with Claudia. I'm riding my bike, I told him. I sipped my orange juice. Do you feel better? Mom Max. I shrugged. I guess. I didn't get much sleep. Do you want to see the doctor? I'm not sick, I insisted. We can take out the mirror, Dad said, tugging at the knot in his tie, if it really is bothering you. I didn't know how to answer. I wanted that frightening mirror out of my room, but I didn't want them to remove it until I proved to him I wasn't crazy, that something really terrifying was going on inside it. Let's talk about it this weekend. Mom said, carrying dishes to the sink. We don't have time now. We're all going to be late. I gulped down the rest of my cereal, but I didn't have to decide about the mirror. Then I packed up my backpack, put on a jacket, and hurried up the back door to get my bike. Oh no! A cry escaped my throat as I stopped short in the driveway and stared at the shock and the garage, at the huge jagged chunk ripped out of the bottom of the garage door. Buzzy? I cried. Buzzy? Are you still in there?